Well, no sign of a young boy presumed to have drowned after falling into the water on the Canadian side of Lake Erie. Police say two boys, an eight and nine year old, were standing on the edge of an ice field over the weekend when a wave swept them into the water. A couple passing by did manage to rescue the younger boy, but they could not find the nine year old. This all unfolded in Peacock Point, Ontario, about an hour west of Port Colborne. A recent cold snap has caused thin ice to form on local waterways, but as 7 Eyewitnesses reporter Ed Riley tells us, local authorities are urging people steer clear. It's so thin and we're used to being able to go right out on that ice and standing on it with no problem. A nearly ice-free waterfront is certainly not something people in Buffalo are used to seeing in mid-February. But thanks to a mild winter, areas that would normally be covered with ice and ice fishermen are now open water. Kind of cool walking around in a sweatshirt in the middle of February, but it's also a little bit strange. However, over the last few days, frigid weather has started forming ice in various places, like the Buffalo River, at Tiff Nature Preserve, and along Buffalo's Outer Harbor near Wilkinson Point. It was warm when it was supposed to be cold and now it's supposed to be warming up now it's getting colder. After a young boy fell into an ice field in Ontario and is presumed dead, the U.S. Coast Guard is worried that people and children will take risk on thin ice in western New York. We are not seeing the large ice formations that we usually have on Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Thin ice has caused serious incidents in other parts of New York State. And we've had multiple cases where people uh, and snowmobiles and ATVs have fallen into the ice. While it may look spring-like outside, falling through ice can still create a life-threatening situation. Uh, you're only going to have maybe minutes to be able to try to get yourself out of there before that hypothermia starts to kick in. Parents should make sure children stay off ice on any body of water. It's not a typical winter here. We don't have the ice thickness that we usually do at this time. For ice fishermen who might risk it, make sure you have the proper safety gear. If you do fall through thin ice, hold on to the ice shelf. Don't go under. Kick your feet to build momentum and crawl up on the ice. Keep rolling on top of the ice away from the spot you fell in. So we are stressing here with the Coast Guard, Please Please stay off the ice this winter. Even though local creeks and streams are not as deep as the lake, the Coast Guard is also warning everyone to stay off the ice on those as well. If you break through there, underneath water currents can end up pulling and pushing you under the ice. In Buffalo, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News.